Hello, my friends. It is me, Miss Karami, and I am back with another story time for you from the Crystal Lake Public Library. It is June. It is, and that's a very special time. It's summer and it's really hot outside. It's so hot. Oh, you know what I was thinking about the other day? I was remembering when I went to elementary school, mm -hmm, and I had, well, it doesn't look like it now because I have a whole lot of gray and white in my hair because I'm really old, but my hair used to be bright red. Mm -hmm. It was kind of like an orangey fire on my head. And when I walked into school for the very first time, there were no other kids like me. There weren't. There was not a single redhead in the entire school. It was just me. And I felt a little awkward about that. I did, I did. And one of my favorite things at the library is finding a book to represent everyone. Mm-hmm. I do. I love to do that. I love to find a story about somebody who's so very different from me. And I like to read that with the hopes that somebody out there has found a book that is exactly like them. Yeah. When I was little, my grandma gave me a book called Anne of Green Gables, and it was all about this rambunctious redhead. And I kind of saw myself in her a little bit. And I think that's the beauty of books. It's for something that's inside all of us that wants to be special and heard. Yep. And sometimes you can't be that if nobody tells you that you can. Yeah. So you just have to kind of hide it away inside and that's really hard. Yeah, so I found a very special book today. I did, it's brand new, it's brand new. And if you're out there and you can't see yourself in something, I hope this book helps all the kids out there who maybe need a closer look at a book that rhymes. Yeah, and you can find yourself in the pages of a book and know that there's so many other people just like you that you're not alone. Mm-hmm, yeah. Well, here is a book and it is called Calvin. What a very pretty face. Yep, and it is by J.R. and Vanessa Ford. All right, let's go. Let's see what is so special about this book. Look, there she is playing on the playground. For as long as I could remember, I knew I was a boy. Does she look like she's dressed like a boy? No. Oh, interesting. Interesting. I draw myself with short hair and a shirt like Papa's. And I dream about swim trunks like my dad and my brother wore. See, look, there's a mama and a daddy and two boys. Yeah. I didn't tell my family until the night before our summer trip to Gigi and Papa's. I was scared they wouldn't believe me, but I knew it was time to be me. Yep. Whenever I have to do something scary, my dad always says, take deep breaths and count to five. Breathe in and breathe out. Five, four, three, two, one. I am not a girl, I told my family. I'm a boy, a boy in my heart and in my brain. Yeah, that would be a very scary conversation, I think. What do you think her parents will say? Hmm. We love you if you are a girl, boy, neither, or both. We love you whoever you are, my dad said. That's always the right answer. Later, dad told me the word for how I felt was transgender. Being transgender means other people think you are one gender, but inside, you know you are a different one. Wow, that's amazing. 
it's really kind of exciting, isn't it? Because inside, you just know who you are. Yeah. I wondered how Gigi and Papa would react. And as we got closer, I squeezed my stuffed lion to my chest. That always helps. I had already told my family who I was, and now I needed to tell them my name. <sighs> the same name as your favorite stuffed lion, Dad asked. It's why I named him that. It was always the name I was meant to be. When we got to Gigi and Papa's, Dad told them my new name. He introduced me. Look at that. What a happy family. I love it. Our summer trip turned out to be the best ever. At the comic convention, Papa bought me my favorite costume. My favorite superhero signed my poster using my real name. Wow. I always wanted to go to a comic convention. Yeah. And at Waterworld, Gigi bought me and my brother matching trunks. Even the water slides felt much better in them. In line for popcorn, I made a new friend and I felt proud to tell him my name. We spent the whole day together. So good to be comfortable, isn't it? I love to be comfortable. On the last day of vacation, at a big outlet store near Gigi and Papa's, I picked out new clothes. That night, I gave my family a fashion show. You look so handsome, Gigi told me. Yeah, I love a fashion show. I always do that when I buy my kids new clothes. I make them go try them on and show me how they look because I can. School was starting soon, and I knew there was only one more thing that I needed to feel like me. When I looked in the mirror, I finally saw me. Look at that, they got a haircut. Haircuts make all the difference, don't they? Yep. Dad said there were other transgender people in the world, but I didn't know any kids like me at my school and school started next week. Oh, that would be scary, right? I was very nervous because I was the only redhead and that seems small compared to that. Yeah, being the only one felt very scary. How would everyone treat me? What if my friends wouldn't call me he? What if, what if, what if? Isn't that the scariest question? Mm -hmm. The first day of school, I dragged my feet at the door. Me too, kid, me too. Five, four, three, two, one. Breathe in, breathe out. Look at all those kids. A very fun school. Welcome back to school. We are glad you're here. When the principal said my name, I felt safe and happy. Violet skipped up to me, calling out my new name too. You know my name? I asked. Yep. Your dad told my mom you're a boy now. I've always been a boy inside. Are we still friends? Yes. Did you bring your jump rope for recess? See, that's the most important question, jump rope. When I stepped inside my classroom, I could not believe what I saw. Look at all that in the room. Oh my goodness, that looks so fun. The cubby, the lunch cart, the homework station, and the mailboxes. The name tag on the table, my new name was everywhere, everywhere it should be. <gasps> that is a very special thing. What a good teacher to make all of her students feel special like that. Yeah, I felt my fears start to go away. Welcome back class. For morning meeting, we'll just share about our summers. 
and I knew just what I would say when it was my turn. What a fun classroom. I stood up proudly to share my summer story. But first, I introduced myself. Hi, I said. My name is Calvin. C-A-L-V-I-N. And I felt my what-ifs melt away. Perfect. Look at that. Everyone is being kind to everyone. They're all sharing. What a beautiful story. What a beautiful story. I love that. I do. I just think that's the most amazing thing. When inside your heart, you just know who you are. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, sometimes I get really loud. Mm -hmm. And some people think that I'm something called an extrovert. That means I'm not super scared to talk in front of people and I can be loud and silly. But inside my heart and inside my brain, sometimes I'm very quiet and I'm very shy and I'm a little bit scared to talk in front of people. And that is called an introvert. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I'm one thing and sometimes I'm another, but they're all who I am in my heart and in my head. Yep, we all know who we are, don't we? Yes, we do. All right, my friends, come on into the library and say hi to us and sign up for the summer reading program. It's starting now and there are some really great prizes. I'm excited. I am. I got a piece of candy at the desk the other day mm -hmm. for signing up. Come on in and see us. All right, my friends. I'll see you soon. Bye.